This is a miniature replica of Xiaobaijiao One, a trade vessel built during the Qing Dynasty about 200 years ago. This is what archaeologists believe it looked like before it sank into the East China Sea off the coast of Zhejiang Province. Lin Guozhong led the recovery mission that spanned over six years, collecting over a thousand artifacts from silverware and stationery to foreign coins. The boat carried colorful porcelain and various other goods, indicating a thriving trade at the time. The wreckage was found in an important intersection on the maritime route. The structure had both Chinese and foreign designs. All of these provide new information about China's maritime history. Racing an ancient ship from the bottom of the ocean might seem like the most difficult part of the job, but the real challenge comes from the rusty remains of iron and copper bolts. These are pieces of timber glue used to hold the beams together. Check out this square hole right here. This is where an iron bolt used to be. Now the vessel has been marinating in sulfur seawaters for hundreds of years. And combine that with iron and now air, you have a perfect recipe for sulfur acid, the destructive chemical that can literally wreck the wreck. Ma Biao is an expert in relics repair and preservation. He says stabilizing the artifacts without damaging the cellulose within the wooden structure remains a challenge for scientists worldwide. Relic preservation is a tedious work. Whether it's repairing porcelain or treating wood, it's very complicated and cannot be rushed. But if we don't try, future generations won't be able to see them. We can't damage or lose such valuable historical items. The limitations in preservation technologies have led to a debate over whether we should leave the sunken ships where they are and use virtual tours for public viewings instead. But experts say some treasures may be at risk if we don't get to them in time. If the relics are stable underwater, we would not move them. But that's not always the case. The constantly changing tides can cause more damage. The artifacts could also disappear into the hands of treasure hunters and traffickers. We need to save our old artifacts so that scientists can study them and the public can admire them. Ningbo has a team of elite divers helping to salvage the pieces across Chinese waters. But ocean archaeology is a relatively new field. Lin says new breakthroughs in marine engineering, ocean mapping and other cutting-edge technologies are still needed to protect the legacies of our ancient mariners. Huang Fei, CGTN, Ningbo.